Hey everybody, so this is Pip. Really? That's not for you. He's gonna be he's gonna be angry. So we've had some really hot weather the last two weeks, I guess. And um, we have a couple of chickens that don't do well in the heat. Pip is not one of them. Actually, here, let me put him down. I know, I know. All right, so we have a couple of chickens that don't do very well in the heat. One is Alice, who is the mama of our two baby chicks. The two eggs that she hatched weren't hers, but uh, she's been, you know, she's the one that went broody and she raised these these two chicks. One's a roo and one's a hen. Anyway, so it's been super hot here for the last couple of weeks. And we have our chicken AC, um, the, the redneck chicken AC that I have the video on and I'll post a link below uh, in case you want to check that out, which blows some cool air onto the hens. And it especially works like if you have a raised coop, it kind of cools the air underneath of the coop. And so we set that up from from time to time, just had a fly go right in my ear. Um, but from a larger standpoint, it, it is more of a concentrated area. And so we need to find a way to cool our chickens down over a larger area, which we've got this great big coop back here behind me that I built last summer, or the great big run, actually, not the coop. Um, so we were looking at maybe putting up a mister to kind of cool the air overall and, and kind of, I don't know, give some cool mist going on. So we were looking at building that from scratch with PVC pipe uh, hooked up to a hose and then the mister grommet, grommets that you can, you drill holes through, on, through the pipe in, you know, at, at intervals and you put these little grommets in. So we went to Lowe's and, and to pick up the supplies, but Lowe's did not have the grommets in stock at the store that we went to and I'm, I'm not even sure if they had them in town so we're like all right well we'll just order some grommets online for the misters and then once they get here then we'll get the pipe to to put them up well when we went on to amazon to look for the misters we found a whole mister kit and this just is a mist cooling system it says so I am going to now try to install this. It's a little thin pipe and it comes with a whole bunch of, uh, I guess the Mr. Grommets along with a couple of connectors for a hose. So let's take a look at this thing and see how it works and see if I can't get it hooked up. The one thing that I like about the hose, just by looking at it in the bag, is that it's very thin. So I can run it directly through the hardware cloth that I've got here uh, on the walls of the run without having to cut any holes. I can just feed it through and then then hang it, I think. So, I don't know. I may end up cussing a lot uh, before this is all over, but hopefully it will be a, an easy process. So, let's check it out. All right, so some cool things about this is it comes with zip ties um, so that you can hang it up. Um, and it has some simplicity to it and also something that I think is going to be kind of a pain. Um, so it comes with these little T connectors and then onto the T connector is the little nozzle for the mister, right? And then the whole like 25 foot of, of hose here. Here's the problem I see. You don't actually insert the, uh, the misters into the hose like you would if you had done it with a PVC pipe where you drill the holes along. What you actually have to do is cut this wire, or I mean this hose, pipe, whatever you want to call it, at every section that you want to put in one of these T's. So for a very long section, you're going to have to make a lot of cuts. Um, the little 
grommets for the mister just hook right onto that T section. And so I just put that on there like that. And now you'll put one side of the hose on this side and one side of the hose on this side. But you have to cut this hose for every single one of these that you need to put in. So if I want one here, which I wouldn't do that because then you have a final section that would screw onto your hose. There's actually uh, two different ones here, so I need to check and see which one will work with our hose. But so this just hooks into one end of the hose or in, into the hose that I bought, and then this will screw into your garden hose here. So that would be the beginning. Then I'll have to go however many feet I want, cut this thing, put in a T, run another section. And so, I mean, you really you should have a mister about every foot or so. So for every foot, I'm gonna have to cut this, which is unfortunate. I was hoping they would just pop into the hose, but they don't. So I need to get myself a pair of scissors and um, start rigging this deal up. A couple things that are a pain about this is cutting all these sections and fitting in the T uh, fitting so you can hook the nozzle grommet on there. To get it to fit, you have to soak it in hot water. And um, so I've got a coffee cup here filled with hot water that I stick the bits of hose into, let it heat up so I can kind of work that T-joint on there. Um, and then, while it is cool that these were provided, they're so small, trying to pull them through the top of the hardware cloth <laughs> is a bit difficult. So I've got two hung right now and I'm getting ready to string up the third one and then I'll have to cut my next piece of hose. I've started to work out a system where I can kind of use the scissors to help pull it down. And I'm getting a little better with it each time. But I also hope this isn't going to be a video of me falling off this chair and breaking my neck. The other thing I'm concerned about too is because this is such a flexible hose, how these misters are going to turn. Like I've got one that's going straight down the way that I want it. One going completely that direction, one well, coming this direction because the hose keeps turning, but I'm hoping that maybe I can adjust those once I get them all up. Whereas if you did it, you know, homemade style with a PVC pipe, you'd run them all in a line and the PVC pipe, of course, is stiff, so it's not gonna turn and stuff on you and you would just hang it so they would all just come straight down or whatever angle you wanted them at. Um, so, I mean, this was only 16 bucks, so if it doesn't turn out working out the way that we wanted it to, then, um, you know, we lost 16 bucks and uh, a lot of time, because this is, this is definitely taking some time to get done, and I've only got three in so far. So we'll see how it goes, but if it doesn't work, then I may switch to the PVC and use this for something else like out in the garden or uh, just to put over our chair or something <laughs> so that we can cool off. So I will continue on. So I'm only putting probably about three more of these in. I already have I think five or six up that I did last night. Um, so 
think three more will do it because I'm not running it all the way across the whole thing. I don't think it's quite necessary. Uh, the last part then I'm going to have to figure out is the uh, getting the nozzles to point in the right directions because I do have some that are turned up this way and they're kind of blowing the mist straight into like this, the roof boards which isn't working out so well. Uh, so I might have to make some adjustments there. Um, but I did do a test run last night with the five that I put up and the mist that comes out is pretty awesome. These misters, you know, if I, I can't speak for the longevity, but they, um, you know, how long they'll last and how good they'll work over time. But the mist that they put out is pretty awesome. And the cool thing was, is that the chickens weren't afraid of it. Like if, if I'm running a hose, you know, they stay away from the hose, but with a mister, by the time it, it kind of gets down to the ground where they're at, it's it's so fine that they don't really seem to notice it. And Alice, um, the one that gets bothered by the heat the most, she was just walking around right underneath of it without a problem. So that's a good sign. Okay, so I am still working on putting in this misting system. And I was just kind of going through all these tees and um, putting the, the misters on, on the tees. Uh, I'm not going to need all the ones that they gave me. That, so one plus of this is that they give you a ton of misters to use. I've already got you know several in and then I've got a ton more here left over. The one thing I was trying to figure out though is that there is no end uh, end cap for the hose it's just a bunch of tees and at first I was uh, pretty concerned because even in the the manual where they show you kind of how to um, connect everything uh, there was nothing listed in the installation instructions for what you do when you get to the end I mean right now it would just you just have water running out the end of the hose which is not what you want However, I did happen to notice in the picture on the front of the manual, it shows one, a mister coming out of the end, the very end of the hose. So one thing I'm wondering if instead of using the T when I get to the end, if I can just connect a mister onto the end. That's what it shows in the picture from what I can tell. I don't know quite how the hose is gonna fit on here. However, one additional benefit is that they give you some plumber's tape. So maybe I can get it to connect with that. So we're going to see how this all works out. I've got probably only maybe three more I think I'm going to put in. Okay. Moment of truth. Cut it all up. Okay, so the chicken mister is up and installed. Of course, as soon as I finished it, we got a bunch of cloud cover come over and uh, a nice breeze and it cooled off a little bit. Um, but the sun's coming back out now and it's supposed to be 90 today anyway, so. Um, the issues that I ran into were I had one T connector where the hose was hooked onto it that kept coming off even after I taped it. Uh, one thing I would say is that you do need to tape all of your connections where 
you've cut and put the T connector in, uh, connected onto the hose because the pressure of the water going through tends to work it loose. Um, I had one that I could not get on very well and even after I taped it, it still blew off two more times. So I don't know if it was like when I was twisting to get it on, that twisting motion maybe damaged the end of the hose a little bit. So I ended up cutting off about an inch and then reheating it so that it softens up the hose and then worked it back on. I put a zip tie around it to kind of help uh, around the actual hose and where the, where it connected into the, the T connector to kind of tighten it down. And then I put more tape around that and I actually ended up taping all of the sections. Um, and we'll see how it holds. I ran it for about 15 minutes after that and everything seemed to stay together. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. I still may end up um, replacing it with a homemade PVC pipe. If I do that, I'll, I'll show you steps for that as well. Um, so basic summary, pros of this product. And well, actually first I should say, I'm not affiliated with this product at all. I'm not getting paid to do this review or, or say anything about it. This is just something that we found that we decided to try for our chicken run and wanted to pass that information along. Um, so my overall review though, is that uh, out of a, a five star rating, I would give it four stars. Pros are, it's very economical. It was at 16 bucks. It's um, 25 feet, I think, of hose. They give you plenty of the Mr. Grommets to connect and T connectors. I have a ton left over. And I didn't end up putting one every foot. I put one, I don't know, probably every four feet or so, and it still provides a fine amount of mist in the run. Um, so it's not necessary in this case with these misters to put one every foot, like I've seen some done on the PVC pipe ones. Um, so economical, 16 bucks, can't go wrong with that really, because even if you don't end up liking it, I mean, it's $16, it's not too horrible. Uh, and it has multiple uses with that flexible hose. I mean, I don't necessarily think that it was made to be used in a chicken run. Uh, I think it's more for like a misting in a, on, in a garden setting or for a personal setting. Like I had mentioned before, you could string it up over your lawn chairs and just have a mist coming over you. I think that would be pretty awesome. Um, but you know, it, it has a lot of flexibility. Um, what else? The misters work great. They, I really like the mist that comes out of them. Um, really the main con that I find is that you have to cut the hose. Even though the hose is really easy to cut, just a pair of scissors, you can just snip it. Um, but the, the main con is that it, uh, you have to cut the hose multiple times for every place that you want to put a mister in and getting the, those T connectors into that hose, even after softening up the hose in hot water, is really hard to get it over the lip and get it to stay. Um, maybe I would have had a better time with it if I had put it all together first, which actually Mitzi suggested, <laughs> but I wanted to kind of like put it up on the roof and kind of see where I wanted to do it. And then I just kind of put each one in. So I was working over my head a lot of the time, which probably made it a little bit harder. And maybe I could have worked better with the T connectors if I had laid it out first, but that's on me. Um, so, but I, I still don't like that you have to do all that. I think it could be better designed to just snap them in somehow if, if the hose is made slightly differently. Uh, and then the one other pro with this kit is that it really does come with everything you need. It comes with two different kinds of hose connectors. Uh, they were really easy to connect to my hose, had no problems with that at all. They provide you with plumber's tape, um, plenty of hose, plenty of connectors. Um, so, you know, maybe it's something that you, that you want to try either, even if it's not for your chickens, but for maybe some other project that you're doing. Um, and uh, it was more time consuming because of the cutting of the hose. I think it probably would have been faster 
to use a PVC pipe with grommets, but that would have cost more. So what you make up or lose in time, you make up for in uh, funds. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and maybe gave you some ideas for keeping your chickens cool. Hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods, in your gardens, and in your homesteads. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the little bell so you get all the little uh, updates for when we are uploading new content so you don't miss anything. But thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. Namaste.